Thank you, Mr. Chair. Good morning, and to members of the committee, um, I'm here to testify on House Bill 4384. Under current law, um, when a health professional's license has been revoked or suspended, the health professional must give notice to each patient or client who contacts them during the period of revocation or suspension. The individual is also required to give notice to their employers at each hospital where they are admitted to practice. The current law does not require that the health professional uh, provide similar notice when they are placed on probation. My bill uh, would require a health professional who is placed on probation to give the same notice to patients, employers, and hospitals as they must currently give when their license has been suspended or revoked. Although Laura is required to publish administrative dis disciplinary action of individuals, under the Public Health Code, it is unclear how many patients know where to find this information or that it even exists. Patients should not be left in the dark when their physicians are placed on probation for serious disciplinary offenses that could put their health at risk. Patients just have to know. This legislation is especially important to the wake of the Michigan State University Sports Medicine, um, Dr. Larry Nasser and his abuse for female athletes and other women. A 2016 Consumer Reports National Survey found that 82% of Americans support the ideal of doctors having to tell their patients that they are on probation and why. And in 2018, uh, California became the first state to require health professionals to tell their patients if they um, are on probation for wrongdoing. The measure was fueled by, of course, as we know, the Nassar case. This is not about politics or headlines. This is about patient safety and ensuring that our citizens feel safe when they seek uh, care from their health professionals. Thank you, um, Mr. Chair and members of the committee for allowing me to testify.